Hey everybody, it's Flying Ryan here with the review of the JJRC H21 Micro Hexacopter. Um, I accidentally bought the Bind and Fly version of this, so I don't have the actual retail packaging or uh, transmit or anything. So uh, some of my details may be a little bit off since I don't have, you know, it didn't even come with a battery or anything. Um, I just, I got it because I like the look of it. I think it's a pretty neat looking hex and uh, the black and blue is pretty cool looking. Um, even though I had heard some bad things about it, I figured I'd still give it a try. Um, luckily, it does use the, pop the popular, or formerly pro popular at least, um, the WL Toys V2X2 protocol. Uh, so I'm using my V222 transmitter with it. Uh, and that's, you know, a real popular protocol. So like if you got the... Uh, Yizan X6 Tarantula and a bunch of other models, a deviated um, Devo radio could fly it. Uh, so a lot of different you know options for transmitters for this. So at least I did have something to fly it with. And then just going by the specs of what it should have come with, it was a 400 milliamp hour battery. So um, I've got a 400 milliamp here that I've been testing it with. And then just a random charger, so I, you know, I'm not sure if the charging rate is the same as what would come with uh, the, the Hex originally, but um, most likely it's close. And for that, it took me 52 minutes to charge, and I get about 3 minute and 15 second long flights with a 30 second LVC warning. Uh, so pretty short flights, that's just 3 minutes and 45 seconds total, um, and that's with the prop guards on. I haven't even bothered testing it with the prop guards off, uh, but you could remove them. They're just screwed on. Uh, but I actually, I think it looks kind of cool with the prop guards on, and I just, it wasn't really worth uh, trying them with them removed because really it's, it's not that impressive. It looks cool, but it doesn't really fly very great. Um, it's, you know, I, I've only got the V222 transmitter here, so I don't know exactly... Uh, what sort of rates you get with the stock transmitter, uh, but the yaw rate is just really, really slow. Even with, with the you know the 22 transmitter here, on the high rates, it's just it's too slow, and it's just I don't know. It makes it feel so sluggish and just flies poorly. Um, it flies heavy. It is pretty heavy for its size and being a hex with six motors and everything. Uh, so short flights and slow clumsy flights is just not really that impressive uh let's see oh and it only has leds up here in the front and like the eyes i guess it's got two placements there's no leds anywhere else on it so um, not great on the visibility either but at least it does have the blue props in the front to help that way um and then you can do flips you know again i don't know what the buttons are on the stock transmitter but i'm sure it has a flip mode as well and i guess really uh that's about all i've got to say about it oh i guess uh you can recalibrate it by holding both sticks down to the left i assume that's going to be the same with the stock transmitter as well because that's pretty standard for this protocol uh, but yeah that's all i've got to say so let's go take it for a flight all right, this is the flight review of the JJRC H21 Hexacopter. Pretty cool looking thing, but a little disappointing on the flight characteristics. Uh, accidentally bought the BNF, so I don't have the you know actual stock transmitter or the box or anything, but it uses the V2X2 protocol, so I'm using my V222 transmitter from WL Toys. And there's low rate yaw rate oh my gosh it just barely turns that's full yaw and low rates and jump it up to high rates still pretty slow even on high rates that's a hundred percent there we'll look at the pitch there's full pitch so it's a little slow to kind of get into full pitch so it it's kind of feels a little unresponsive it, slowly moves its way even you know a full stick it just takes a while to react to the stick movements so it just kind of it kind of just feels like a sloppy flyer the pitch out matches the uh, yaw so you can't really do fast movements uh, oh. <laughs> 
and lost the prop. I was trying to get a funnel going, but I mean, the yaw is just so slow. There's, there's really no chance of doing funnels and even banked turns are a little bit tricky. Let's go down to 80%. That's probably a little bit better match. I guess let's uh, do some flips. Not bad on the flips. Whoa. <laughs> that was an interesting crash. That's kind of acting a little funny on me. Maybe recalibrate it. just so slow makes it hard to do any sort of precision flying and no LEDs really just got those front eyes so a little bit hard to see your orientation though you do have the blue props but at a distance I think this thing would be very hard to see so, I mean, it's not really a great outdoor flyer just because you won't see it at a distance and not a great indoor flyer because it doesn't handle well enough and turn fast enough. So I'm not really sure what the intention for this thing is. It does look cool. Just disappointed with how it flies. Not bad on the flips, that, that's for sure. Let me try a little prop guard test. It did all right with the slower crash. Geez, that went way back behind there. All right, well, let me uh, cut the video, get that out, and then we'll wrap it up. All right, I'll be back in just a second. All right, I'm back, and I got it out. I figured we'll at least take it in for a landing. Fly it in for a landing, see if I can even do that. Maybe drop it down to 60%. That's good enough. Yeah, it's just a little slow. Like even like when you slam the sticks, it just sort of slowly moves into that direction. So it's just, it's hard to make precise movements with it. I mean, it's one of those things again, where you, it's hard to explain it. You just kind of have to feel it, but I don't know. It's just slow to react, slow to turn, just kind of a sloppy flyer. So uh, not really one I can recommend unless you're just absolutely in love with the look of it or something. It's just not a very enjoyable flyer. So anyway, if, if you are interested, check the video description for a price and purchase link. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.